Hello fellow humans, my name is Edebrack Smith, and today we are going to be taking a quick look at Elder Scrolls Online on Google Stadia. Got him. Okay, do one down. One down. A lot more to go. Oh, and I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any mana. What can I do? Eat food! Eat food! Today we are in the, uh, what is it? The Monastery of Serene Harmony, and we're going to be doing a little bit of investigation. And you know what that means if you've ever played an RPG, it means rob everything you can. This is like Skyrim, where you will see these little icons above things that, you know, are, are quest uh, markers, so that you can find where you need to go. It can be helpful to actually read this stuff. Uh, I, I'm just going to kind of skip through kind of quickly right now, uh, so that the viewers watching aren't bored of me just sitting here reading. But, yeah. Oh, I sat on her. Sat on him. That's not okay. I'm gonna get kicked out of this uh, monastery. Your spiritual well-being can wait until after my nap. You'll have to ask one of the monks that the new Aldark brought with him. They deal with all the newcomer testing and evaluations. I'm just a simple monk trying to catch up on my sleep. That was it. Aldark Tilkala arrived right after the Queen issued her decree. He came highly recommended by King Lady Avanis, or so I heard. It's not unusual for monks to form attachments and move together, but there's something strange about that bunch. The Old Ark and his monks keep to themselves. They've taken the Undercroft for their own purposes and ordered the rest of us to avoid the ancient vaults beneath the monastery. Now, please. Let me get back to my nap. The monastery should be a place of peace and meditation. The Aldoc has closed us down until further notice. That means if any of the monks spot you, they'll raise the alarm. Me? I never saw you. Now, if you don't mind, my nap awaits. The quests in Elder Scrolls Online range the gamut from, you know, a uh, simple kind of kill 10 boars quest all the way to very, uh, you know, story heavy and, and interesting quest lines, which is actually pretty cool because, you know, a lot of times in MMOs, the, the quests are essentially all about, you know, murdering things. Whether it's hidden in kill 10 boars or whether it's, you know, uh, oh, there's a war going on, so we're going to need you to, to go to the front lines and help. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, in the end, you're still killing 10 boars. Whereas in Elder Scrolls Online, um, a lot of the quests that I've played so far are actually a, a little more in-depth and interesting than that, uh, which is pretty cool. So these monks don't care that I'm here, it looks like. But I need to go on the other side of this, it looks like, maybe. Maybe I need to go up, maybe I need to go down. Let's, let's do some stealth. We don't want to get caught. I don't know who technically would catch us. I don't know if this monk would be a, a bad person to see us or let's try and sneak past him here. I don't even think there's a way down from in here. So yeah, I think I made the wrong call. I think we got to go back this way. All right. And I know he said people would kick us out, but I, like, I don't see anybody kicking us out right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. There was still something to investigate over here. List of sequestered guests. Basically what I've done is I've hopped onto a character that I had from a long time ago. He's very low level. I hadn't done much with him. I just wanted to skip the kind of introduction. Hello, you know, here's how MMOs work kind of stuff for you. The downside is I don't really remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, but it looks like they've got some people. Let's see, Wood Elves, four males, three females, all claim to be Dominion citizens. Khajiit, seven males, nine females, Argonians, four, gender inconclusive. Fantastic. Who can tell with muck? Ooh, wow. No, that's not cool. Muck swimmers? That's that's racist, buddy. That's not right. Bretons, one male, two females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Redguards, Nord. Okay, screw that. Let's head down and see if we can find out what's going on. Oh, this is not the place. Okay, this is just boxes and stuff. Maybe up. Well, let's try the other side first. Nobody in this room seems to care about us, so let's just run. And then back to stealth, ha ha ha. 
We're sneaking around, but also running. Okay, Monastery Undercroft. That's where we needed to go. But we can't open it. Okay. Why can't we open it? Is there still something up here that I need to find? Maybe I need to go upstairs. Maybe it doesn't feel that I've discovered where they are yet. Oh, oh. I'm hidden. Is it down there? It kind of looks like it might be down there. Could be up here, though. Let's go ahead and investigate. This is some guy's house, or, or like the barracks. Crafting motif six, Red Guard style, you know it. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I have never played on a controller before. Um, I've always played on mouse and keyboard. I just wanted to give the controller a shot because it's on Stadia. Uh, and I realized that what I want to do is press B to put away my staff or to like close, oh no, uh, or to close um, various menus and stuff. Uh, but what ends up happening is I press B and it casts a spell and then, you know, people freak out and they're like, hey, why are you casting spells? Oh no, is he coming in here? Oh. Ooh. Did someone tell you you could be here? Shut I up, go away. Not. Quiet, go away, you didn't see nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought, chump. Oh, oh, who's this? Is this a player? I think, I think that might be a player. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's a player. You can tell by the stupid name. No offense to that guy. Uh, it's just his name's not very, you know, lore appropriate, and I like my names to be very lore appropriate. What is up with people's names right now? Okay. Uh, Abyssal Pearl. And not everybody plays MMOs the same way, so, like, I get it. Yes, I would. Who are you? Valserine. I noticed you skulking around while I was engaged in some skulking of my own. I suppose we both came to the monastery with a similar purpose in mind. The sequestered newcomers. I came to find out what happened to a friend. I assume that's what brought you here as well? A house of worship shouldn't be used as an internment camp, and it shouldn't be locked to the public either. Interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. I find it intriguing and a bit disturbing. But we aren't here to discuss curios. Strange creatures notwithstanding. We need to find out what's happening with the missing newcomers. How did you happen to get past the sentry, by the way? The sentry doesn't appear to have stopped you, so I could ask you the same question. Let's just agree that we both have our methods. Curious. But I feel that there's more going on in Shimmerine than the usual politics and community relations. What else could be going on here? That's the question, my cautious friend. We have a newly appointed Aldark and a disgruntled kin lady, both opposed to the Queen's decree. What's their connection to the missing newcomers? I was about to explore the Undercroft. Care to join me? I'll meet you in the Undercroft. All right. Oh man, that guy looks way cool. I huh. wonder where the old arc acquired it. I uh, I don't have uh, a lot of the cool not gear and stuff, but that's okay. Oh, this guy's coming back. Gotta gotta hide in here. I mean, maybe I don't have to hide at this point, but whatever. She doesn't seem to care. She's like, I have my methods. I just run right past them. They don't seem to care. Sneak past this guy little eye in the center of the screen if you've never played Skyrim kind of tells you how hidden you are. Right now I'm very hidden, um, but as it opens, uh, it means that people are looking at me more directly, and then if it opens all the way, then people see me. Let's start running. Go to the Monastery Undercroft. I'm sure there won't be any, like, problems or undead or anything like that. Something's wrong down here. I sense magic. Cages. There's a lot of cages. These people did nothing to deserve such treatment. There's yeah, this someone isn't alive cool, man. over there. See if you can help her. Oh, which which one? This one? Z Zarius? Hmm. I can search this sack. I can look at that dead body. I still can't talk to Zarius. Oh, 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 this way. I don't know why she was over here looking at this guy and talking about this person back here. Whatever. You gotta expect a little jank in MMOs. Thank the divines! You aren't one of the monks. Please, let me out of here. Why did they lock you in a cage? It's a nightmare. 
We came to Somerset to seek new opportunities. We barely stepped off the ship when they marched us to the monastery. Instead of questioning us or the usual high elf bureaucracy, they locked us in these cages. There are only a few of you here. Where are the rest of the newcomers? The monks gathered them a few moments ago and took them through the door on the far side of the chamber. Please, let me out of here before they take me away like the others. I'll unlock the cage and see what's going on in the next chamber. Is that a... scoffin? Oh, thank go. you for setting me free. What's a scoffin? I don't remember what a scoffin is. A daedra. Ooh. Here, and that's a scoffin. If daedra I remember different my from a scoffin. recitations correctly, very curious. What's a dead scoffin doing in a monastery devoted to the eight? An excellent question, and one I hope to find the answer to. From the evidence before us, it appears this Nord killed the Scoffin before he succumbed to his own wounds. Good for him. I found this key on the creature's belt, so we can open that door. That's where the prisoner said the monks took the rest of the newcomers. Then I suggest we pick up the pace. We need to determine what's actually happening down here, and who's behind all this. Without answers to those questions, we won't be able to decide on our best course of action. What about your missing friend? I'll explain everything later. For now, we need to hurry. Well then, let's hurry. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to survive any combat encounter right now. I do not remember what does what and what my buttons are. Uh, oh, it looks like there's a bunch of people down here fighting, so maybe it won't be a big problem. I'll just kind of follow behind the dead bodies. Trail the dead bodies to the quest objective. Oh, there's a lot of things going on. You! Fight! I don't... I don't know what that did. I don't know what my quests do anymore. Defend... Valisarine. Where is she? Where did she go? Valisarine, where are you? Do I need to... Go somewhere else? Oh, she's still up there. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? Come on, Valisarine. I gotta defend you. Come on. Go. Go. Maybe I don't have to defend you. Maybe I just gotta go talk to this thing. I don't know. You. Talk. No? What if I shoot you? Fireball? No? Nothing. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have to wait for enemies to More appear again? Newcomers. Ah. Unfortunately, the magic only affects those who have been prepared. But never fear. Your turn will come. I'll deal with the pearl. You hold off these creatures. Okay, got my ice armor going. I think that's a heal for me and anybody around me. Okay, there we go. The pearl's magic attracts these creatures. Hold them okay, off while I so now we're fighting staff. these guys. Uh, I can block like this. There was a thing earlier where I was supposed to do like a big block where I would like parry or something. <laughs> but I don't really remember how to do that. I think it's, I think especially on the controller, I think it's uh, L2, R2 at the same time. But I know nothing about it. Oh, okay, so let's... Oh, okay, let's call a... Cliff Racer, that's one of the things I love. I got the Morrowind expansion way back when. Uh, didn't play it too much, but I should have. Uh, but one of the things you can do with the Warden is you call in a Cliff Racer, and I don't know if you've ever played Morrowind. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, having a Cliff Racer come in and, and just annoy enemies for you. Come on, let's talk outside. Personally, I think Cliff Racer should be a dot so that you cast it on them, and then, you know, as you're fighting, Cliff Racers just keep coming down and pecking them in the face because Cliff Racers are... The most annoying creature in, like, almost any RPG ever. Oh, those poor people. This wasn't just about newcomers and opposing the Queen's decree. That was Daedric magic back there. I just wish we had arrived a few moments earlier. Lady, I wish we had arrived a few moments later. We had to sit there and, like, wait for things to respawn. Let's see. Uh, I mean, what happened to the Pearl? Did you destroy it? I promised to explain what I know. I suppose that now's as good a time as any. I'm a member of the Sigic Order. Our right master sent me to investigate a warning we received about a plot involving Somerset. 
My inquiries led me here. I met Oriandra of the Sigic Order. Oriandra is indeed a member of our ancient monastic society. We once served as advisors to the rulers of Tamriel, but that was before we removed our island home from the world. Now this threat has drawn us back. But why are you involved in all this? I'm working with Razumdar, one of the Queen's eyes, but what happened to the Pearl? An eye of the Queen? Interesting. I diffused the Daedric magic and transported the Pearl to Arteum, the Sigic Island for safekeeping and study, so we can learn more about it. But we can discuss this further once we get out of here. Alright, let's go. I feel like my voice acting is the, the quality of Kung Fury. If you haven't watched Kung Fury, I only watched it recently. Uh, it's a 30 minute short, short movie, whatever you call that. Uh, and it was like, it's all done by like a, a handful of people and, and on a shoestring budget. And it is one of the most ridiculous, like 80s amazing movies I've ever seen in my life. It was made recently, uh, but it's got a very 80s vibe. Get my ice armor going here, throw down my, my mushrooms of healing. Mushrooms are getting wrecked. Okay, burn this guy alive with fire. Got my fire staff going. Oh, I didn't even see you. Dude, what, what the hell? Oh, I should have done that to interrupt. Okay, that's fine. I keep forgetting and I'm not really paying attention because I'm trying to talk and do stuff at the same time. Let's see if he does it again. I'd like to be able to, to hit him with that just to, you know, have practice at it. Another cliff racer, another cliff racer. Just keep throwing cliff racers in his face. Ha ha. All right, let's take his gold. Is there another body? No gold from that guy? All right, whatever. We're just trying to escape from the Undercroft, uh, which means killing everything we see. Uh, throw a cliff racer at that guy. Fireball, fireball. Ah. More cliff racers. Now throw down a heal mushroom for me. This is some of the warden stuff. The interesting thing with Elder Scrolls Online is that what you do and what you have access to isn't necessarily determined by the class you pick. Some things are, right? You're going to have class abilities and a, a class ultimate that will be determined by the class you pick. Uh, and so there's some synergies you can... Who's, who said that? Um, there's some synergies you can try and get with your class abilities and with your uh, weapon abilities. And weapons are how you kind of choose your... your uh, how do you say this? your playstyle, I guess. So if you're running around with a staff, uh, you're going to be casting magic spells, right? If you're running around with a two-handed sword, you're going to be, you know, using two-handed sword weapons. Oh! Oh, I almost had it. Okay. I messed up there, but that's okay. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, get out of that. I, I'm not used to playing this anymore, and especially not on a controller. Okay, at least I blocked that one. That's good. Ooh, I'm getting hurt. Okay, where's my where's my mushrooms? Any more mushrooms? Oh, no dodging. Okay, so yeah, um, the idea is you can wear whatever armor you want, regardless of your your supposed class. But you can also choose to, you know, uh, like you can look at what kind of armor and weapons you're gonna have. Man, I am sucking it up. Ooh, I might die. So you can look at what kind of armor and weapons you're going to have, or you want to have. What the abilities you get for those. Yeah, dodge roll, finally. What the abilities you would get with those armor and weapons. And then look at what kind of class you might want to make and what abilities you get with that. And try and synergize it. Then you can think about other things, uh, eventually, like you can become a vampire, you can become a werewolf, and each one of these things gives you different abilities. And so what, what abilities do you want to mix and match? And that's kind of how you create your class and who you want to be. Which is cool. Uh, it's I wouldn't say it's completely unique in the MMO genre, in the MMO space. You know, it's, it's similar to Albion Online in that respect. But it does have certain class abilities and, and you know, your choice of class is impactful, uh, which I actually like. The, the biggest impact you can have, I think, for your starting uh, experience is what race you pick. Because there's different... Oh, I'm going to block that. Trying, oh, I should have... Oh, okay. At least the way it used to work... Oh, knocked him down, okay. The way it used to work is your choice of uh, class and 
or no, just race, I guess, determined where you started and uh, who you could eventually group with in PvP uh, encounters, which is a, a big part of the in-game. However, uh, I think that's changed recently. Uh, I think one of the patches they made it where like it doesn't matter what level you are, you can still play with your friends, uh, which is cool. But in so doing, I think one of the things they also did was made it so that you could just kind of go wherever and, and party with anybody, I think. The in-game PvP might still be determined based on your faction, which would make sense for me. Because it is... Oh, no, there's more? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I gotta get serious here. Gotta try and stay alive. Oh, no. Heal. Heal mushrooms. Heal. Kill him. This guy is pissing me off. All right. Okay, he's he's low. He's low. If I can just keep myself alive. Oh. Okay, where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. I think I'm gonna die here. But that's okay. I just want to kill this guy first. All right. I think... Did we get him? Nope. Okay. Shit. Ah. Just die, you son of a... Oh no, he got me! Come on, heal! Heal! Alright. Kill him! Got him! Okay, do one down. One down. A lot more to go. Oh, and I don't have any... Oh, I don't have any mana. What can I do? Eat food! Eat food! No! Ha ha ha! Ah, we died. Okay. Death recap. Skaven. Or Scaffin. Bastard. Okay. Let's, uh, let's press A to revive here, I guess. I don't think there's a negative for that right now. Escape the Undercroft. Okay. So. Oh, is that still the same? Is, are they, is he just back? Do we just have to deal with him again? Okay. If so, let's, let's kill the other guy first. Maybe he's easier to kill. Oh, come on. Come on, Edelbrax. You've got this. Throw on your armor. It's because I'm not sending these guys down enough. See, look at that. Hey, uh, all I needed. We'll get some uh, cliff racer action going on. Maybe block a little bit. Yeah. Oh, ha ha ha. You stupid idiot. I say that after being utterly smashed by these guys. Uh, or maybe smashed isn't the right word. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, homespun epaulets of health. A Daedra heart. Guts lake bait. All right. Oh, for, that's probably from that rat right there. Where? Where's the person we're supposed to be running with? Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, because we died, they probably, like, disappeared, uh, despawned. And it doesn't really matter at this point. We're just trying to escape. We weren't trying to defend her. So that's fine. Let's get out of here. I think we're pretty close. Can't believe I died. Ah, music kicked in for a second. I don't know what's going on there. But I think we're out. Somerset. Living on Arteum for a few centuries doesn't prepare you for physical activity. The Let game the the is queen beautiful. Know what we discovered, and I'll catch up with you later. I mean, it's definitely an MMO, and it's definitely from a few years ago, which means that you know it doesn't look as nice as it could, uh, and it doesn't look quite as good streaming on Stadia as it does on a high-end gaming PC, of course. But it's still a gorgeous game, and you know, actually pretty fun. I need to get back into it. I need to play some more. Uh, I'm going to join the Content Creators Guild I think we're going to start, or somebody started recently. And that'll be fun. It'll get me back into the game, back to playing, and, and seeing if I can really get into it this time. I, I've played it off and on a couple times, uh, but never really got to in-game and, and did any of the in-game stuff. Uh, but I think we're going to call it there. This was just a very brief introduction to Elder Scrolls Online. There is so much more to look at, so much more to see, so much more to do. You can go all kinds of places, you can play all kinds of races, classes, 
you know, weapon combinations. It's it's an amazing experience, uh, and it's it's different from other MMOs. So if you've played other MMOs and you, you didn't work quite into them, uh, maybe you know the story was just garbage and you, you weren't interested. Uh, this story is better. It's not you know Shakespeare, but it's it's a lot better than some of the stuff you've seen recently in in other MMOs. So I think that's it, fellow humans. Have a good one. Edelbrack Smith, signing off.